is the index of the mind. Eyes are the windows to the soul. Your voice broadcasts your approach to your life. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sunita, certified parent and teen coach, voice coach from Bangalore. Today's topic: enhance your voice, enhance your life. Voice is the most intricate part of ourselves. Voice reflects our thoughts, feelings, emotions, beliefs, and convictions. Every time you open your mouth with less than three seconds, people have already made a decision if they like us, trust us, believe us, and want to engage with us. So our voice is our essence. Why is our voice our essence? So whenever we take in a breath, the breath enters our body, picks up all the colors and hues of our emotions, and when it re-emerges, it becomes our essence. Friends, voice is our most powerful asset and our most powerful essence. Now, let me share how my life transformed when I got in touch with these two thoughts. And the first thought was enhance your voice and enhance your life. And the second thought was if you want to enhance your voice, you need to release your voice at four levels. Oh God, releasing. I have always heard from the trainers saying that train your voice. What does it mean to release your voice? And previously, my voice was like this. Around now, this is how I sound. I'm Sunita, certified parent and teen coach, voice coach. I help parents and teenagers hold on to the vision and help them stay accountable to create outstanding results. So what changed from this point to this point is humongous. And from this realm to this realm for me is completely outstanding, unbelievable, miraculous. So would you like to know what are the four areas where we need to work? Yes, so those four levels are the physical voice, the mental voice or the little voice, the emotional voice and the spiritual voice. Since we have only five minutes, I'm going to take up only the first level, that's the physical voice. Most of us relate to the physical voice as something larynx as the voice box and we know that the voice vocal cords vibrate and when the breath goes the voice comes now let me share with you three exercises out of 25 powerful exercises i have worked on and the first million dollar exercise is called as a lip drill the lip drill goes like this it relaxes your voice and you have seen an creased iron unironed shirt and once you iron, it becomes smooth. That's how this lip trill works. And the second exercise is called as a tongue trill. The tongue trill goes like So this relaxes our tongue. Now there is a beautiful mudra which is called as a shanka mudra. It's like a conch and it helps us to connect with our throat chakra. And whenever you want to make an expression and whenever you want to talk with conviction, we need to have power in our throat chakra. And this does a lot of benefit to our throat chakra. Now often people think that the voice is here and people are gifted with a beautiful voice but the beautiful insight which changed my life was everybody can enhance the voice and they can allow the voice to flow seamlessly and let me tell you our voice is not from here our voice starts from the diaphragm and ends here that's the lips so we have approximately 25 exercises so we have covered three and also there are four components the generator the resonators the oscillators and also the articulators. So anybody wants to develop their voice, they need to work on all these components. And second, we move on to the mental voice, little voice, and we move on to the emotional voice. It's all about finding what is causing the barrier. So for me earlier, I was very shy, timid. I didn't want to be seen. Now my myth, what I broke is I'm comfortable to be seen the way I want to be seen and I'm happy to be expressing the way I want to be expressed. And finally, it's your soul voice. That is what drives us and helps us to become who we are meant to become and who we are meant to be. Now, in my work as a parent coach, friends, 80% of the conflicts are at home where people do not talk in a sweet tone. They take people for granted, recklessly, disrespecting, and they, they do not use the good tone. So life is sweet. We can make it sweeter, provided that you respond to the people with love, care, compassion, and allow your sweetness to touch their sweetness. So I want all of you to raise your hand, put it on your heart, and recognize that 
we have the most powerful asset and that asset is the voice so hands on your heart once again please and say to yourself i have my voice as my most powerful asset and i am blessed to have this powerful gift and i am going to touch with my sweetness and also touch the hearts of other people and elevate their sweetness thank you so much live sweetly talk sweetly respond sweetly thank you so much